So we have participated in National Entrepreneurship Challenge, which has been organized by IIT Mumbai. And uh, we have Q task in that. And in, in, the, in one of the tasks, we have uh, we have to ask few questions regarding entrepreneurship. So I just have few questions regarding your views against uh, again uh, entrepreneurship. And first question is, what do you think about entrepreneurship? Uh, entrepreneurship basically is to start your own enterprise. This enterprise could be a business enterprise focusing on business aspects. It could be a service unit. It could also be a manufacturing unit. It could be a marketing unit or it could be consultancy itself. And it could uh, encompass n number of activities. That is what is Entrepreneurship, to my knowledge and to my understanding, you know, it should be like this. Uh, a kind of gene, uh, a kind of potential within a person should exist, which in turn will lead him to earn more and more money, or rather to get a success, higher success, by doing some industrial activities, uh, some kind of, he should have the higher, he can establish his business in the um, uh, potential market where he can uh, have more and more profit or he can provide more uh, business to the system. Maybe the system, he is the owner of that system or maybe he is working under a particular system for which he will be basically giving his uh, input as a, uh, rather a profit to the uh, system. So that means by giving a kind of a job to the other people involving their skills the growth and development of a particular area. That's what I personally feel. It will definitely going to develop a good skills among the students as far as the is concerned. Uh, 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 to you, the, the right pronunciation is not, it's not the entrepreneurship, it's the entrepreneurship. Okay, sir. Entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Okay? Okay. All right, next. My next question is why people are not adopting entrepreneurship and what are the problems behind that? Uh, it requires a courage, it requires a challenge, you know. Those who are having that kind of, that kind of uh, challenging attitude, who can see that, okay, I can face any kind of trouble comes in, in front of me, I can stand for that. Those people can go ahead with that uh, entrepreneurship. Otherwise, if they are scared of, if they are scared of the challenge, you know, they always feel like to have a, a typical government kind of job, you know, where mostly I have seen those engineers doesn't have that much of... People won't go yeah. with that. They don't have so that mostly, kind of uh, yes, 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 yes. Though, that's the reason I have seen that uh, I have my friends, they're not so uh, courage, they don't have the, so much of courage to work in the private company. If you are in the private companies, you need to have all kind of balances, you know, you have to have... Uh, entrepreneurship. If, if you don't have, very difficult to sustain in the company. The, as per the adopting entrepreneurship is concerned, there is something in that, you see. It is inherent. And uh, if you are adopting entrepreneurship, and if you are sincerely looking for that, it means you are trading job for other people. Getting job is it's easiest work, which I personally feel. But as far as the creating jobs for others, it's a little bit challenging job. That's why the people they from the top into the right. And it has required a good amount of skill also. You say you have to control X number of factors of the Not only giving a job satisfaction to people, work growth, their growth. Depends on different societies. If you go to Punjab, Haryana, uh, Gujarat, the entrepreneurship uh, skills and entrepreneurship uh, thinking is much more as compared to many other states. It depends on the infrastructure available, your family background, the confidence level that you have in you, the skills required whether they are there or not. And then opportunities as far as the market. You as a student, were you ever thought about entrepreneurship? Well, definitely. When I was a student, probably we have started a few 
job at Nanital. I was in Nanital. We have started a few jobs in Nanital. And we got success over there. Like, uh, uh, you might be aware about the uh, pine uh, tree. The byproduct of the pine tree we have started. And uh, around 10 or, 10 or 12 people we have started as a small, uh, you can say, cottage industry over there. For the three, four years, it was working for the all right. We had a lot of money for that. My father encouraged me to do that. But the unfortunate part is this, uh, for entrepreneurship in those days, you know, when I was a student and uh, the market scenario was not so lucrative, not so lucrative. And it was uh, kind of, even after you are having uh, knowledge, yeah, if you have some kind of technicality, but it will be very difficult to come into the, come into in the practice and making profit for your own system or, for, or giving some kind of profit to the system what you are, or to whom you are giving your service rather. So from okay. all those point of view, I found that if I personally want to go for entrepreneurship of my own, then I should have been my own uh, financial background very strong. Mm -hmm. yes, and unfortunately, so. I never had that kind of thing. Uh, how we can enhance an entrepreneurship ecosystem in our college? Uh, number one is training. Encouraging younger people for taking up business units, enterprises, services, and uh, many other activities of their own. In fact, uh, the AICTE and UGC also think of at national level uh, turning the young graduates into entrepreneurs rather than seeking jobs in government and other organizations. So in that way, entrepreneurship could be enhanced through proper training, through proper support by government units, by banks, and by uh, developing some of the pilot units at uh, university and college level. For example, at BIS itself, we could develop some pilot units which could instill confidence in newer generation to start uh, their own enterprises. Without investing much, they could work over here and then transfer the know-how when they start their own year. Well, starting at uh, um, entrepreneurship and college, they required a lot of achievement. Uh, yes, that's a main um, point. Um, you require the same kind of people of the same temperament, those who really want to take initiative for entrepreneurship. Yeah. As we have here in, the, in our college, GSS, Jan Sikhsan Sastan, he is going on such kind of courses. How we can involve people over there? Everybody, all the students, even the professors as well, they should have that kind of attitude. What you are asking? Yes, they, they should have energy. You know that kind of feeling should be there. And to to implement this kind of things, you know, it should have. I, I feel you know it should come spontaneous, spontaneously. Spontaneous, very yes. Important. And the persons who are really bothered for the world, society. Those who are taking everybody in his own circle, they are not confined his own vested interest only. Yes. Those people can go into this particular journey. And I, I, I would rather say that as you are telling that, what we should do, yes, it is, it has to be here. I rather say it is essential. But this kind of mentality should be inculcated in their mind, in our mind. In, why should I say there? In our mind. And thereby, it's a kind of evolutionary process by which one can change himself. And if that change comes in our mind, we'll find that it is one fine day, unknowingly it is already existing, you'll find. And it is not that, okay, today you are uh, uh, start it and tomorrow it will be finished. Evolutionary process and it will be taken care of by of its own. System will generate of its own.